OK, is Steve Clark the right guy to manage Scotland going forward? This is following on from the Euro 2020 group stage exit uh, with only a point and only one goal scored. Now, you have to look at it from the perspective of where they were when he took over to where they are now. They've made it to a major tournament finals. That is a big step from where they were for the previous 20-odd years. They obviously hadn't qualified for a tournament since 1998. And you have to look at the fact that since 98, only two clubs have won the Scottish Premiership, that is Celtic and Rangers. Um, and that is a problem. The lack of competitiveness of the league at the top level is a big problem. Now, this season has been a little bit different. Rangers winning the league title, but St Johnston winning the cup double. I think that is um, a positive sign for Scottish football. But then you have to look at where the players are being developed from, what clubs they're playing for, and the fact that there's very few um, top Scottish players playing outside of Scotland. Uh, you know, you have Robertson at Liverpool, you have Gilmore at Chelsea. You know, you have McTominay at Man United. So that there, there are you know green shoots there with some young talented players are playing in, in top clubs in England. But the problem still remains of, of player development, uh, youth you know youth development, uh, you know, and the competitiveness of the Scottish league system. That's not on Steve Clark. That's on the Scottish FA. That's on the domestic game to try and solve. The fact is, however, it has taken 23 years for them to appear at a, a major tournament. Yes, this tournament should have taken place last year, but that's still two decades plus without a major tournament appearance. And the problem is with Scotland is when they get to a major tournament, they've never made it out of the group stage. So while he has done a great job in the two years he's been in the role, and I'm not disputing that, I was very positive when he was announced as the new manager. You look what he's done at club level with West Brom and with Kilmarnock. Look where those clubs are now since his departure. They have dropped back down again. So he's clearly a manager that can improve a club's position and improve the players playing under him. Uh, I believe he has done that with the, with the Scotland national side. Uh, obviously, if they do qualify for Qatar uh, 2022 next year, uh, that is a, an added boost. But they have to qualify yet. And his contract runs until 2022. So it will be interesting to see if Scotland do qualify for the Qatar World Cup. And then we can have the discussion, is he the right guy to take this national side forward? I believe at the moment he is. I think there was some naivety in their performances at this tournament. The fact they only scored one goal is a concern. But then you have to look at the playing depth and, and where... You know, the top Scottish players are playing outside of Scotland. And there's a handful in the Premier League and then there's some championship players. And that is the problem. There's not enough Scottish players playing top flight football, not just in England, but around Europe. And, you know, you go back 20, 30 years, there was a, a, you could select the whole Scottish side from English top flight clubs. That is not the case at the moment. So there is clearly an issue with, with quality coming through. And other sports in Scotland are at a younger age group actually attracting young, talented athletes into their ranks. Uh, it could be rugby union, it could be ice hockey, it, it could be individual sports like tennis with Andy Murray. He's had a massive impact on the Scottish you know, sporting psyche with m more kids playing tennis. They have to attract young, talented youngsters into the football system. And that lies with the Scottish FA. It doesn't lie with Steve Clark. Yes, the team having positive performances on the pitch and, and Scottish players doing great things at their club sides and the top level will help and help inspire the next generation. But the Scottish FA need to look at grassroots and community level. And that is alongside the devolved government and the national government here in the UK. That that has to happen across the board, I, I, would, I would argue. But I think Steve Clark, he's proven himself as a club manager without winning any silverware, but he has got the highest ever league finish for West Brom with their highest ever points total. He had Kilmarnock at one point leading the SPL and had them in the top three, top four, come end of season. Look where they are now. They've been relegated out of the SPL since his departure. So in that two years, Kilmarnock have gone from challenging the established order to completely falling away. West Brom, same again. Good, solid finish, record points total in the top flight to uh, being relegated out of the Premier League again. So he has left his mark where those who've come after him haven't been able to fulfil the promise and the, and the solid building blocks he left in place at those clubs. I hope the SFA have confidence in him, but the problems that are affecting Scottish football are bigger than Steve Clark and this national side. The fact he has got them to a major tournament finals is a massive achievement from when he took over. There was a lot of negativity at the time. 
you know, they, they lost against Kazakhstan. They laboured against San Marino. He takes over. Yes, there's a playoff to get into this this finals, but he's done that. Um, the performance against England was brilliant. I have to admit that the team were up for it. Uh, they played well against the Czechs, but some naivety and lack of tournament experience, I think, cost them in that game. I didn't watch the Croatia game, but they got back into the game, but then they were just blown away by a better by a better quality opposition. They will learn a lot from this as a group. I think Steve Clark will as well. Uh, it's just a matter of time whether the SFA have, you know, renew his contract and whether Scotland can get to the World Cup next year. If they can do that, then I believe he is the right guy to carry on with Scotland to, you know, the next Euros and the next World Cup. I honestly believe I think they have finally got the right guy in charge. It's whether they can have confidence in him and, and give him the tools to do the job because Scottish football, as I say, has been declining for, for years. And you look at the best players Scotland have, there's not enough playing outside of Scotland and the Scottish League is not competitive enough. St Johnston notwithstanding with their cup double this year, which was an amazing historical feat, which I don't think will be repeated outside the, the old firm anytime soon. Um, that may be the green shoot that Scottish football needs. But there we go. Is Steve Clark the right man to take Scotland forward to the next World Cup? Please place your thoughts below. And I'll have, obviously, the match reviews of, a, of two of the matches I'll be watching this evening. I won't be able to watch all four because, obviously, it's the final state of group games. And so two matches take place at the same time. But I, I look forward to some really interesting matches this evening. And I'll have some more videos for you very, very soon.